Okay, it says we're live. So I'm gonna right. give it a second for Facebook I'm try to and share it. Yeah. Yeah. Usually, I don't know, for me, it, it seems like it takes a minute. Like Miguel and other people do it. It's like, bing, it pops up. And I'm like, hold on, my phone's a little totted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always tired, so I get that. <laughs> oh, it popped up, yay. Um, why is this acting weird? Oh, I forgot we, we're in closed caption also. So oh, it's nice. always fun to go back and re, and like read it and rewatch the show and see how accurate the closed captioning has gotten because it's what really we, wrong. I was going to say like what we really said. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, man, I kind of feel bad for people who um, they really rely on the closed captioning because that's <laughs> not what we were talking about at all. <laughs> Ooh, that could get dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okie dokie. Let me. Oh, I forget. I'm still getting used to this whole uh, broadcasty dealy thingy. Mm -hmm. Like checking on where. How can I read the comments? I don't know. Miguel's not here. Normally he does this shit. <laughs> I, have, I have like a little side thing over here that says live comments, but I don't know if you need to approve them for me to see or whatnot. Mm, no, I shouldn't. It should. Oh. If you just click on it, it should pop up, but I'm not getting that on my end. That's weird. Oh, very interesting. Do I have the power? I have the power. I think you do, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Uh, well, thank you, everybody. I see we have two viewers right now. I can't see any comments. Maybe nobody's written anything yet. I don't know. But welcome to Any Last Words. I'm your host, Joe. And tonight, ooh, tonight's a very special evening. We have the very beautiful, very talented Chanago. Thank you so much for letting me be here. Yes. Thank you for being here. It's always a pleasure. Always a pleasure uh, with you. Absolutely. Yes. Lies. That's how we get started. No, <laughs> I never lie. I'm not a liar. No. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> uh, so how's the weather down in LA today? It was uh, kind of cloudy and then the sun popped up as the sun was setting, you know, it was awesome. Oh, Oh, that was a short day. <laughs> yeah, it was. I'm like, are we in summer? Shouldn't the sun be like out longer? What's going on? But I know. At least it's getting warmer. I'm not complaining about that. Well, pretty soon it's going to get, well, here, well, I'm not too far from you, but um, I think it said next week we're supposed to be like headed towards the mid 90s. And I'm like, oh, that. that's why, why? Just keep it 70s, 80s. I'm cool with that. I know. I'm super cool with that too. But I think they want to like jolt us, maybe try and kill this coronavirus <laughs> that's with us. And then maybe we can venture out and live life. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Speaking of heat and coronavirus, have you seen that um, obnoxious older gentleman who just so happens to be a televangelist who believes that he can blow the coronavirus away? No, how have oh I missed my this? God. I don't know. I don't even remember how I thought it might have been through Miguel. It might have been through someone else. Um, maybe somebody had posted about it and I watched his thing and I thought it was hilarious. But somebody and I actually posted this one the other day. Somebody made like a, um, like a remix of it and made a song out of like parts of his sermon. <laughs> And it was hilarious. I was like, oh my God. And it was about how he's going to destroy the coronavirus. And Bring I, it, baby. Bring it. I was it. like, oh my Lord. I mean, whatever makes the big bucks. I mean, okay. I double dog dare him and I double dog dare him to Facebook Live it. Like, I'm, I'm in it. I will be there. Right? <laughs> I want to see him blow this away. <laughs> That hot old ass breath, I'm sure would probably kill something. Probably. I mean, his mouth probably doesn't stop talking anyway, so he's probably used to it. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> those types. <laughs> smells like like old wine and communion. Ah! Oh, L. God. L. I can't. I can't even go there. I'm not. <laughs> I, can't talk. I know we oh we can go places but I, don't know I know right. you are trouble and I posted that I was like this is gonna be a trouble night I was girl... so excited <laughs> I was like yay Jim's gonna be on I'm gonna say a lot of things that I probably shouldn't say <laughs> it's okay it's, it's 2020 you can almost say anything anymore you could do whatever you want but you can't really say almost anything you want 
almost, almost. Almost. I mean, almost. we were in a safe zone, right? This is a safe zone. Like, it's not like anybody's watching or anything. My house is safe. Yeah, hell no, nobody's watching. This is my show. Ain't nobody watching shit. I'm watching myself off and on to make sure my wig's straight. <laughs> Keep that move on. Yes. Hi, Miguel. Hi, Tino. Hi, Garrett. <laughs> Hey guys. Oh, Are now you, it's popping up. As soon as you said something, boop. Boom. There are the comments. Boom. Awesome. It looks like we're we're surrounded by uh gentlemen tonight. No, I'm just drinking white wine, not margaritas. I'm low in tequila and trying to save. Two hotties. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, and I'm sure there's really not that many people on here who don't already know who she is. Um Queen of Screams. That is yeah. I. Melville. Tell me about that. I love it. I fucking love it. I think it's <laughs> great. I think you do an amazing job. I love it. I remember the first time I saw you, I was like, oh, she is my new Elvira. Oh my God. I mean, I know, uh, like, you know, like, yeah, my thing that, that I watched all the time. Cool. That change. seems that seems to be the census lately. I I've been getting the whole Elvira, uh, I, I, I younger Elvira, or fitting into the shoes of Elvira. I personally think that she and I are a little bit different, but I understand where the comparison comes in. We're both sexy a, hot ladies that show right? off our cleavage. So. <laughs> so you're, are you? So you're kind of okay with the comparison? Then just, I mean, it's all fun. Um, it's, it's, I mean, you know, a lot of, it sometimes starts to bother me because I'm like, I'm not her. I am a different character. Right. I am Malvolia. Right. Different names. Um, we do different things. I'm not Valley Girl. I am angry, mean, vicious killer, you know? Yeah. Um, and so I, I just, I just want people to always differentiate that. But as far as being compared to a legend, I do not complain. Okay. Um, I also feel like I don't, there isn't like a lot of people like that you can compare me to. I feel like she's like the one that everybody knows. So I feel like that's always the easiest as well. But um, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's cool. <laughs> um, so did you come up with the character of Mavolia or was it a collaboration with yourself and someone else or no, how did all that was, come about? It was all me. Um, originally, uh, I wanted to be a part of this film franchise that initially had a strong female character. And I was seeing that it was pretty much all male directors. Mm -hmm. And I was kind of like, well, I want to be the female director to kind of step in and take the story in a different direction and show how females don't always have to be a victim. They can be a badass. And so I wrote out a treatment and I submitted it to we'll call him the creator. I don't know what you would call him. This. I mean, he's the original director and he founded the project or whatever and uh, hated it, totally declined it. Uh, but one of the producers of the series was like, hey, you really have something here. You should advance on this in somehow, some way. And I'm like, oh yeah, I mean, just, just that little positive feedback I was in. And so I, not being under the restrictions of the film franchise, I could go off and do whatever I wanted. So I know I still wanted to do this strong female badass character, but I wanted to kind of like talk about something that people weren't talking about, you know, like I, that I felt people weren't talking about at all. And um, I went to Monster Palooza that year, and that was the year that they, or it was either Son of Monster Palooza or Monster Palooza, I can't remember which one, um, but it was the year that they were celebrating Elvira. <laughs> and um, I was just so amazed that here was this 80s star and there was so many people in line for her paying so much money to just have maybe two minutes with her and a picture. And I was like, oh, my God, this is something like people are still really into it, but it's not being talked about. So why don't I, you know, make this feature film, this found footage feature film about a horror host? And I stand corrected now. I've learned my lesson. There are still horror hosts all around the nation, still on public access, still doing that kind of thing. But um, at the time, I really had no idea. And so that's kind of the route I went into. And while I was writing the feature film, I was like, I just, I want to make a reel. I want people to kind of know the character before I come out, because if I put it out there some way, somehow, I'll already have a fan base and that will be better for distribution, one would okay. think. But um, 
so the the easiest way I could think of was do a web series. I have a whole audience on YouTube that I could connect with and get this name out there and hopefully build up that fan base. And um, as soon as I launched her, people went crazy for her and they actually really liked her. And if you really watch season one, I really didn't have a, a very like steady idea as to what I was doing. I was just kind of reaching for things. I was like, asking for favors from like friends and fellow actors. And we were just kind of doing it as we go. And we just kind of realized that this was something. And so never really wrote the feature film, just kind of stuck with the web series. <laughs> well, it seemed to have been working out. So. I think so yeah, I mean, to be honest with you, season three was a little rough for me. Um, my numbers were low. I had a really hard time coming up with content and stuff like that. But, um, you know, I, I learned a lot. And I think that was where the blessing is because it made me hungry again. And it made me really think about what I want to do and what I want to say and where I want to go with the character. So I needed that little kind of step back to do what I needed to do. Hi, Jack. Oh. Ah. That's awesome. Sorry. <coughs> I had an itch in my throat real quick. <laughs> it's not Corona, right? You're not coughing. You're no. not, you don't have a fever. No, you good. Okay. No, heavy smoker. <laughs> It is 420. We're all celebrating, right? Well, I'm yes. not partaking, but. Uh, um, we got a question from Jack. So, Jen, what's happening this weekend with Malolia? So I hosted a little anthology called Horror Nights, Jack Hunter's Horror Nights. And we are screening at the Ocala Drive-In Movie Theater this weekend. Uh, I believe it's the only drive-in that and movie theater that's open. And they'll be playing our feature film both Friday and Saturday night. At, I think at midnight. I think I'm right. So, um, so that's a really that was a really cool thing that happened this morning. Um, we're all really really excited to kind of showcase this film to, you know, people that would have no idea that we exist. So this is good. Yeah. yeah. And you're giving people a, a, a safe-ish way to go out into the world. Yes. And enjoy themselves with some entertainment. Exactly. Stuck in, yeah. <laughs> stuck in the car with your family uh, watching the movie. <laughs> uh, well, I have a question for you. Yes. And uh, everybody who's watching, feel free to answer as well if you'd like. But how would you choose to die in a horror movie? Like, what would be the way like you would just want to go always thought about it if i had to die in a movie this is how i want to go out decapitation really that Take was quick. my head off i never really <laughs> thought of it <laughs> I totally thought about it a lot. <laughs> so just end it just take it done. right off <laughs> be done okay okay just to the point <laughs> That's it. to the point i mean i still think that Paris Hilton's death in House of Wax, where she got the stake up in, I think it was in her head. That's mm -hmm. still pretty dope too. So that would be a definitely close second, but it's always, you know, with the head taking off. Okay, <laughs> either being impaled through the skull. Impaled. Yes. Or, yep. or just take it off. You got just it. Marie Antoinette just. <laughs> <laughs> and any which way, sword, knife, my head sticking out the window, it gets, cut off, whatever. I'm, I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, Tina says, can't wait to work with you again, Jen. Yes. Tina. Jack says, yes. I yes. love Jen, plain and simple. She's the bestest of friends. And Tina said he wants to be shot in the head. <laughs> that's a dope ass way to die too. And just so y'all know, I'm not paying all these people to say all these nice things to me. <laughs> <laughs> I am. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, <laughs> maybe. I did say I wasn't a liar, but am I lying? I don't know. I am an actor, so. <laughs> <laughs> Jack says he wants to be blown up like all parts just kabam. Kaboom. Just <laughs> explode. Yep. That's pretty cool. I'd be down for that, too. Nice. Um, Wait, how would you die? Uh. Just oh, not, okay. don't drown me or set me on fire. Anything else is fine. <laughs> like, I'll take anything, but don't set me on fire. <laughs> yeah, don't set me on fire. Oh, wait, wait, wait. And no drowning? I know all the ways I don't want to die. <laughs> so, okay, okay. That's still that's still cool. That still counts. Yeah. So no drowning and no fire. So no water well, fire. Okay. 
I think I'd rather be drowned than buried alive, though. I think ultimately I would never want to be buried alive. That's the way I would never want to die is be buried alive. Never. Yeah, yeah. definitely never. I think drowning would be awful. Awful, 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 awful. Yeah. Awful. But hopefully it'd be like in the ocean. So at least maybe you get to see pretty fishies for you today. I mean, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> if we're thinking then like, as we're floating down, knowing we'll never breathe again, we're like, might oh, as well, we'll be at peace with it, it, right? You're gonna, you know, you're gonna go. Just make peace with it. You're gonna go. Oh, we are getting morbid already. What are we like, 15 minutes in? Hey, sorry, <laughs> I haven't been out in the world lately. I don't know how to conduct myself in public anymore. Fuck. Uh, oh, me. <laughs> Oh, uh, what's the first thing you want to do when you, when all of this shit, if it ever ends, what's the first thing you want to go do? Oh my God. What do I want to do? <gasps> you know, I, I haven't really thought of it. I was just, I just really want to go back to work. I never thought I would say that. <laughs> I really want to go back to work. But if, if it were to like do something fun, I would definitely want to go to the movies or okay. to a rest restaurant or a bar for sure. Okay. Yeah, I miss the movies. I don't really I never really get the opportunity to go to a lot of movies because I work a lot and I always got a lot of yeah. shit to do. Yeah. Um so it's kind of like a treat for myself when I get to go to a movie. Yeah. And um yeah, I really miss the movies a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I miss like the movies a lot. We start reminiscing about all the good times and then it's like, oh my god, remember the movies. Yeah. It's like I try. I like I'll make popcorn at home and I'll like try to do a little setup. And I'm like, this is Wait. bullshit. It's not even the same. I don't want this. <laughs> hey, but at least people are not talking during your movie or pulling mm -hmm. out their cell phone or whatever. So there's um, that. Are people asking you to put your vape pin away? Whatever. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you're at home, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> That's true. If you won't get out to leave because you're not wearing pants. Hey. <laughs> Truth. Truth. And if they are asking you to leave, fuck them. Yeah. Don't be a fool though. Just let me sit and drink, watch my movie. <laughs> uh, uh, Tina says drowning in the lake of shadows is the worst way to go. Yes, it is. Oh yeah, I would definitely second that. Yeah, um, she wants to get drinks with me. Inside joke. It is an inside joke, but yeah, I'd definitely go get drinks anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Uh, Let's see. Um, okay, I got another question for you. Another fun yeah. question for you. All right, I, think, I think it's fun anyway. Okay, think of your top three celebrity crushes. Okay, you ready? Uh huh. You have to fuck one, marry one, kill one. Go. <laughs> okay. Out of, then, out of those three, you only get to. You really got to get rid of one. So. Hands down, I'm gonna marry Ryan Reynolds. Like he is number one <laughs> i would probably fuck tom hardy Ooh, and okay. i would kill chris pine <laughs> oh, wah, wah. <laughs> how's that <laughs> we'll make sure that they never see this well, ever chris pine anyway, chris pine exactly. anyway. <laughs> what time you'd be like oh i gotta go yeah. <laughs> i'll be like no wait just kidding it was a job. God. I was in quarantine. I didn't know what I was thinking. Fuck. I'm going crazy. I've got a drink in my hand. It's 420. Just whatever. <laughs> Shit. Uh, so you've also had some movies come out recently, no? I yeah. Have. You have that, you know, with Julie, uh, Julie Prescott. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We, we had The Last Roommate come out, uh, directed by Dustin Ferguson. And, um, I started out 2020, and this is kind of like not like accurate because I got the the role at the end of December, but I started out 2020 like asking for like the most insane, challenging film role ever um, that would take me out of my comfort zone, which would make people uh, not, that would make people see me in a different light. Um, and so this was the movie. <laughs> This was the movie. This is like crazy time times 1,000 uh, lesbian girls 
I do a lot of masturbating on screen. <laughs> like it is just the craziest, craziest uh, ride. And sorry, mom, mom, don't ever watch it. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so that was my my 2020 challenge for the year. And I already got that over with. So we're good to go now. <laughs> so I take it like a sex scene, if you will, that was kind of like your first one that you've ever did? Or I mean, did, have you done an implied one before? Or? I I don't think I've ever masturbated. I had my f like first legit sex scene when we shot Desert Moon. Okay. Um, but I'm, I'm totally covered in that. And that was that was shot very tastefully and and the last roommate was was shot very tastefully too but there's there's like some implied snm in the ah, roommate um okay. it's single white female lesbian roommates i mean it goes there it definitely goes there so okay all right cool <laughs> so that came out and then x grinder 2 came out i'm in a little i have a small role in that um and i have some malvolia episodes coming out this uh this well, the first one's launching this thursday and it's quarantine with the queen i shot them all yesterday so there'll be six days of quarantine with the queen having some some movies hosted by by me so that'll be coming out soon too i saw that you put you did you said you did six of them all six. like pretty all by yourself in like one day holy that's, shit woman that's that's what season three kind of turned into for malvolia so this time around it was like nothing for me okay <laughs> season three oh, yeah. was definitely a lot of lessons learned because i you know i used to have a crew that kind of did a lot of stuff for me i just kind of had to show up in hair and makeup and then they would set up my living room they would set up my set they would do all my lighting they would do all my camera uh, angles and all that kind of stuff. So then I found it was just me. And uh -huh. so I'm like, I have a tripod. I can figure out, kind of copy the lighting. I mean, I paid attention when they were doing the lighting, right. so I had an idea. Um, so I did that, but I started to use a lot of natural light. Um, okay. And then everything's on a tripod. So it's just kind of easy. And you just do autofocus. <laughs> there you go. Shit. Do you so, find it's hard to do editing or no? I've gotten so, so, so used to it. I've been editing for years, for okay. years and years and years. So for me, editing is really easy, especially when it's, you know, hosting a Malvolia episode. I just do the intro, outro. You plump the film, you plop, plop, not plunk. You plop the film in the middle and then it's just good to go. There you, you go. Know? And I already have like the intro and the outro already pre-done. So it's just copy and paste all that stuff. So it's, I really was trying to like get praise yesterday when I posted that and looking like a badass, but honestly, it was really easy. <laughs> it was just time consuming. <laughs> well, that is badass because I don't have the attention span. I mean, I know the time kind of flies when you're doing editing. Well, for me, it kind of does anyway. Like I'm, I'm working on shit and then I'm like, okay, in 10 minutes, I got to go check on this or do this, that. And then like, I'm doing stuff. And then like, I look down, I'm like, holy shit, 45 minutes just went by. Oh, Two hours go by. Like yeah. it's over. Yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, but I get frustrated with it because I'm just like, I don't like that. I just reshoot all of this. This is garbage. Oh, I know for doing it for so long, I, I've gotten really over it. I've gotten over like the way I do weird things with my mouth and form words weirdly and all that kind of stuff. And uh -huh. I've gotten over all of that. And I'm just like, we're just doing this. We're getting this done and done. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Uh, do we have any more comments? Oh, uh, thank you, Jack. And I got another one. Part five, one. Oh, oh, Paranoia oh. Tapes 5. Yeah, I was brought on and took on this anthology um, that Jack Hunter has like 80,000 of them out. Um, and so uh, we were able to, that took about a year and a half almost two years to get done wow. it was it was it was a rough one um because just as it was finished one of the filmmakers pulled out so then we had to like rework other films into it and all this kind of stuff um but that was definitely a huge learning experience i did it on zero budget i did nothing no money yeah. no nothing tons of favor favors from so many friends totally thinking outside the box and um yeah, we'll see how that that goes once it once distribution drops it. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Cool. <laughs> uh, besides, um, besides Mavolia, the upcoming episodes and all of that. Do you have any other product uh, 
products, projects. <laughs> I, wish I, had, I wish I had some products. If anybody has any t-shirt lines they want me to be a part of. Um, I, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do a season four this year. Oh, okay. Um, just because season three, and I, I hate to keep saying it was so hard because I hate saying things are hard. There's always a way to go around something or get something finished. But it really, really, really was a difficult season for me. Like I got into kind of some like, frustrating situations with some filmmakers that wanted to donate their films. And I was, I was like super honest with them. I'm like, look, I don't make any money off of it. I'm not monetized. It's just to showcase your work for me right. to put your work out there and have something that I can put my work on there too. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people were like, well, what if I, what if I sell it? You know, can you take it down? And I'm like, then that just leaves a hole in my season. Cause I did that during yeah. season two and, you know, and I'm, I'm happy for all filmmakers. I'm happy that they get stuff picked up and they're getting paid for their work because that's very rare. And I definitely want people to do that. But if I'm, if I'm telling you ahead of time, what I need, and you're telling me ahead of time that that's not what you're willing to do, then it's it's not going to work out. It's not a work working situation. And I'm fine. I'm fine. Let's move on. But there were some people that were kind of like tug of war, kind of arguing with me about it. And I I just wow. it was it was really tough. It, it it's hard. It's very hard for me to take put the business hat on because I forget that again, it's a business. It's not personal. Yeah. It has nothing to do with me. It's a business thing. And I feel like a lot of times I try and be very polite in the situation. And then when I get backfire, I'm like, whoa, no, I was nice to you. What are you doing? Yeah. So, um, so kind of just left a really bad taste in my mouth. The filmmakers that did work with me, it ended up being very successful and I was very, very thankful. Um, but you know, I, I struggled around to kind of find filming locations um, for the, the skits that we were doing and stuff like that. It was just a real hard struggle. So I would love to have some sort of money going into season four just so that it wouldn't it'll be a little bit easier because I work a job, too. This isn't my full time yeah. job. I don't make money off of this. So um, I just want it to just be a little, you know, smooth flowing and easy, just a little bit easier. Um, and so it just just has made me second guess what I want to do. So I decided at the beginning of this year that I was going to write the origin story of Malvolia, do a feature film and put that up on like Amazon prime or wherever I can put it up on and uh, just have some fun with that. Cause it has to, I have to go back to re remembering that this is supposed to be fun. You know, this isn't, a, this isn't work. This is something that we want to do. We don't have to do it. Right. So, yeah. So yeah. That's what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> I just answered that question. Long question. No, that's okay. I love it. I love it. <laughs> well, I hope that I hope that you're able to get it finished because everything sucks right now. <laughs> and writing features for me is so hard. I'm. It's so easy for me to write short films or even write like yeah. intro outros and stuff. It's so simple. But like the feature film, the 80 pages, like a lot of times I'll start films and I'll get to page 20 and I'm like, well, I'm done. I, I can't yeah. do this anymore. Like I'm ready to move on. Like I've lost interest. So I'm really trying to pick up that momentum and really push through. Um, I uh, recently reconnected with a uh, filmmaker director. His name is Jeremy Pear. And um, he's awesome, 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 super cool. He seems to really understand my creative eye, which is nice, you know, because a lot of times people don't either they super understand it or they don't understand it, but he just seems to like totally get it. And um, I sent him the real rough draft of the Malvolia feature and he sent back some really great, amazing notes. Like it was awesome that he was in it and he knew where I was going. And just from the questions alone, he wasn't sure if I had those answers or I didn't. And some of the, some of them I did have the answers and they're going to come out later in the film. And some of them I didn't. So it was really great to be challenged by him too. So it kind of brought back that hunger for wanting to write it again, which was really nice. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> it is but I haven't done it yet, but you know. <laughs> no, but you still got that fresh feeling back, like, you know, something you, you know, look forward to in the morning, you know, exactly. like, hey, I'm excited. It's like going the first day of school. I got my new shoes. <laughs> exactly. Or it's also got my mind pumping and kind of daydreaming off and like, where would I go with this? Or where would I go with that? Because a lot of times that's, that's pretty much how I write. I'll, I'll like envision 
where I'll kind of play the scene out in my head. And then I sit down and I, I write it because for some reason, that's the easiest way for me to already see where I want to go and how I want to do things. Nice. Yeah. 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 Love <laughs> I love it. I love you so much. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see the uh, the upcoming episodes for Mavilia Clinton's Twins. <laughs> they're fun. I got some really cool, cool short films to showcase. So they're kind of all over the place. One is super creepy. Like it even creeped me out. I was like, wow, this is definitely off the wall. Totally can't wait to put it out there. So yeah. Nice. Uh, uh, I'm going nuts. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Say that feeling. What are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling like I'm going nuts because I'm just like, oh, I just want to go places. <laughs> I, know, I, know. I want to go to LA so bad. Like, I really do. Come on out. There's nowhere to go. But... I know. There's nothing to do now. I'm like, shut. <laughs> Uh, and I'm just, I don't know, like you're, you're saying things and I'm just like, it's making me think about like, man, oh, that'd be cool to do that. Nope. Can't go there. Can't do that. No. Nope. Oh, wait. Oh, that'd be cool. Nope. Can't do that either. <laughs> no movies, no restaurant, no friend's house. Oh, yeah. Nothing. 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 Uh, are there any um, conventions that you were excited to go to that you couldn't, you couldn't get to go to? No. In fact, I was actually thinking if I if I wasn't going to attend as Malvolia, I was going to skip them this year. Okay. Um, just because my anxiety level has gotten off the chains when I'm there. I just feel like super overwhelmed. Um, I usually go on like Saturdays. One time I went to Monster Palooza on a Friday night and that was like the easiest and chillest night ever. But, you know, a couple times I went on Saturday night. Um, I was at Midsummer Scream this year as Malvolia with the Boneyard. Mm -hmm. And that was just Saturday and Sunday. And even just being there, working, interviewing um, people at the convention and stuff like that, I felt extremely overwhelmed. Aww. Like having a camera crew with me too, that was like, are you okay? You good? What do you want? Where do you want to go? What do you want to, like everybody was like, you know, catering to me and it was so awesome. But for some reason, I just felt like, oh, there's just so many people and so many things going on. So like you're um, mothering me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, like the older I'm getting, the anxiety is getting a little too crazy for me with that. Um, like obviously if I'm working it or if I get invited and I can like do like keep keep doing something and, and moving, it's totally great. And it gets my mind off stuff. But just being there as like a, you know, an attendee has been a little hard the past couple of times. So okay. Yeah. Uh, what's the what's the most enjoyable convention you've ever been to? The like, very, very. I already know the answer to this. Okay, <laughs> it, it was, was probably the, the only one. Yeah, <laughs> probably. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it was the very, very first Son of Monster Palooza that was at. I believe it was the Burbank. It was in Burbank. It was near the airport. It was. It was so small. And there weren't a lot of people there and there was so many people there that i knew so it was kind of like a reunion and i met felissa rose there and um, my friend hunter johnson was there and charles chutabala and aaron mento and um we were all just kind of like hanging out as a group and there was a lot of screenings with movies and that's where i saw um the circus movie uh shit. where's There's lance Wagner? uh the one by billy pawn pawn the like terrifier that. one? No, no. That's, that's not a circus one. That's just the clown. Um, There's circus in the title. Anyway, I saw I saw his film there, and it was kind of crazy. If you're watching and you know the title, let me know. Um, uh, you know, and it was it was easy to go up to the filmmakers and talk to them, and you know, we talked to Billy and. Um, I was able to leave flyers out for demonic attachment and it was just, or did we leave it for Malvolia? I can't remember, but it was just so like easy. It was just easy going. And, okay. um, unfortunately they're just not that easy anymore. So oh, they're very, very popular. Yeah. The lines are always super crazy and yeah. So uh, circus of the dead. Yes. yes thank, thank you. Tina. You <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. I have. Well, it wouldn't be my final, final question, but it'll be like a final-ish question, I guess. If you could be any character, whether it be 
the villain or not the villain in any horror movie, who would you be? Like, what role would you have wanted in any horror movie? Good like guy a, or bad guy? Oh, I always want to play the bad guy. I always want to be the bad guy. Okay. Um, but if I had to choose, like, a specific character, uh-huh. it would be Samora from The Ring. Is that right? Samora from The Ring? I haven't seen The Ring since it was in theaters. And that was a long sit. <laughs> so coming out of the TV. Yeah. Like at that. Or. or Oh, I The would... Ring. I thought Lord of the Rings. Sorry. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm like, that was a long movie. And then you're like coming out on TV. I was like, wait a minute. There was no TV in Lord of the Rings. No, they did a lot of running in Lord of the Rings. Like, <laughs> I would be exhausted after that shoot. I'd be like, nobody talk to me. I'm going to bed. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's more, right? It's more from the ring. I would yeah. I would totally play. The, or I would be Heather from the Blair Witch Project. I would have done that role, too. Ah. Ooh, you know what? I heard um, I watch a lot of, like, YouTube channels and stuff obviously yeah. um there's one um where he kind of dissects films and he kind of like researches little things and he kind of puts his own theories into it or he'll um find theories and try to debunk them or figure out how they fit in to see if it's you know legit or not yeah if it makes sense or whatever mm-hmm. and he did one on the blair witch and i thought it was interesting enough because actually my boyfriend saw it first he's like you gotta see this you weirdo <laughs> <laughs> He takes kind of weird. I love how he calls him weirdo. <laughs> but this guy's theory was that the two boy, or the two guys, um, Kenny and I forget the name of the other one. Um, uh, Mike, Michael? Michael? Michael. Some white name. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Some white guy name. <laughs> supposedly that those two guys, um, they were actually fucking with her and that they were killers and they took her and killed her down in that basement and they were video recording the whole thing like you know what i mean like yeah like you know how some like in real life and in movies like some killers like they film like yeah the torment that they're doing to their victims and they yeah, were they like, were fucking yeah yeah they yeah. were fucking worth the whole time in the woods and making her mad and messing with things and then they get her to this house make her think that somebody's dead and she's really like freaked out and stressed and I was like the way he he presented it it was like that really like that checks out I, I like that idea I mean I it, do it, like it'd, be, it'd be totally wrong but I still like that idea of it I like that idea too yeah I don't think that that was at all what they were from what I understand that the, that movie wasn't supposed to be that kind of movie and the more that they were editing because it was only supposed to be part of another like documentary faux documentary thing that they were doing so it was only supposed to be part of it and then the realized the more that they were editing the more they realized how much of a movie they had with just that found footage stuff so okay but i think we should run with it because <laughs> i like that it's pretty good I mean, yeah i thought that was great i was like holy like it blew my mind when i was it wasn't even like it was a really super long drawn out video either it yeah. was very like straight to it and why he thought the way he thought certain things and it was just like oh my god are you fucking serious dude that is genius it's pretty like, awesome and for jack hunter to just say damn that's a good theory that's yeah. that's saying a lot because he's found footage guru but yeah <laughs> yeah i am with you i'm gonna have to find that video for sure yeah if it's on youtube it's it's a i don't know if it's actually the, the show is actually called film theory Film or if it's theory. just part of the title where it says film theory of the Blair Witch or something. Yeah, shit. I'll search it. I'll search yeah. all of that and see what pops up. Yeah. Oh, my God. I definitely want to see that. Yeah, I like <laughs> that. And if, and if that's not it, then fuck, I might have some writing I might be doing this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I might get back past eight pages this time. <laughs> Girl, good for you. It takes a lot. It, it's hard. It's hard writing. I don't want to say it's hard. It's It's a challenge. It's a challenge. Yeah, because <laughs> it can be, and it Anything. can be conquered. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we are kind of late in the evening now. Do you have anything? Do you have any last words, my darling? Oh, hence the title. It was really <laughs> funny uh, when I was talking to my mom tonight. She's like, "So, what do you have going on tonight? What are you just going to bed?" I go, "No, I am cool." 
and I'm going on a podcast called Any Last Words. And I go, I hope they're not my la- my actual last words. And my mom goes, oh, coming from you? No, you have all these, all these last words constantly coming out of you. So, um, but um, thank you so much for having me on here. This was a lot of fun, a lot of girl time. And I haven't seen... Though. Yeah, and I haven't seen you in forever because um, we got to finish that film we were working on. I know. I That's another, like, when we were talking before we started, I was like, I just financed the car, and then bam, this, <laughs> that. I had just, I just did a film, and I was talking to the director. We were out in the middle of nowhere. I was Booty like, will, yeah. mm-hmm. this would yeah. be perfect to finish my film because that was one of the main problems is I could not find a location okay. that fit what I wanted in my head. Like my house don't yeah. fucking fit it. I ain't got nobody else has got to fit it. But um, there was a house out there and he said, Oh, he goes, we actually rented that one through an Airbnb. He goes, he goes, it's badass. It's got like a big open country field in the back. And it, it's like, it's perfect. And then I was like, Oh, he goes, yeah, just hit them up. Ask the owners. He goes, they let us rent it. We were very nice. You know, we didn't trash the place. And I was like, that would be perfect because like for you, like being out of town, you could come, you could stay in the day. I stay. If you yeah. needed to, like you would have a, pl- a comfortable, clean place to stay and you wouldn't have to travel. You just stay there. I'll pack the fridge. You'd be good. We'll just show up whenever you're ready and we'll get going. But oh my God, that'd be shit happened. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. This, this, COVID-19 needs to skedaddle out of our lives. I'm serious. We got stuff we got to do. Yeah. I know. I And I have, like, for this show, because I wanted to do, like, um, like go to rock concerts and behind the scenes for movies and model photo shoots that are horror related and all this other stuff. I can't go nowhere now. Mm. It's a year. Well, it's going to come back. It's going to come back and everything's going to be easy and amazing. You promise? I pinky promise. I pinky <laughs> super promise. Because if it doesn't, I'm going to be in the corner crying. <laughs> and you can join me. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, what are you doing right now? Crying in the corner. <laughs> me too. No. <laughs> Let's FaceTime together. <laughs> like a too ugly cry the whole time. Like, ah. <laughs> not coming over here. Okay, too much. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love you so much. I can't wait till we can finish this or maybe do something else when all this shit blows over. Maybe go to LA and I can find you when that would drink yes. or something. Yes. <laughs> yes. So nice. All of you yes. Uh, <laughs> we'll have a lot to celebrate by then. Yes. <laughs> uh, call the fucking rocket. Jeez. Thank you so much for being on the show. I really oh appreciate gosh. it. Yeah, thank you, you for having are, me. You're just a treat. I love your face. And I can't wait to see the rest of Mavolia. Y'all gotta check this chick out. If you don't already know, now you know. She's on Facebook. She's on YouTube. She's on the Instagram. Yes. Get her. Get her. It's either <laughs> at Jennifer underscore Nangle or at Queen Mavolia or both. Follow both. Love me forever. <laughs> Follow, like, subscribe. Share that motherfucker. (laughs) Yeah. 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 (laughs) Well, thank you guys for joining us tonight. We hope that you guys stay safe. Make sure you have plenty of toilet paper, that your cable bill and your Netflix is paid. You got that stimulus. You're good. (laughs) And you're lucky because I'm still waiting on mine. I didn't get my stimulus. I barely got unemployment today. Seriously. I was like, fuck, thank God. Cars do it again. It is rough. It is rough. Uh, yeah. Well, you guys stay safe. Stay safe. Coffee, cotton mouth, and weed, but whatever. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I will, see, I will see you guys next Monday at 8 on Facebook Live. Check out um, my YouTube page. Any last words? Also, you can watch previous episodes that have already aired and then uh, content that's going to be coming up soon. So, Thank you, Miss Jen. I love you so much. Thank you for having me. Thank you. And thank you guys for joining us. I will see you guys next week. Good night. Bye.